So we want to show you how easy it is to plug the cotton candy into any HDMI capable monitor like, for example, this large screen TV over here. Uh, it really just requires three connections. So first of all, we want to make sure that we're going to have a keyboard and, and mouse uh, for, for navigating around our operating system. So we're going to take this wire here that we bought, which didn't come with it, which is a micro USB to a USB female wire and we put a 2.4 gigahertz wireless dongle for our keyboard and touchpad combo and we're going to plug it into the micro USB port over here so that we can um, so that we can do so that we can do this. Now we're going to take this then and we're going to go back behind our TV over here and we've got a little wire over here for our power which is um, attached to an AC adapter which is uh, one which is capable of giving a thousand milliamp hours or an amp and that's about the minimum you want to run this because you need uh, that much power for for this to work properly then we're going to take it and we're going to run this into the um, into the HDMI port on the back of our television and you'll see the green light on it lights up perhaps and uh, it will light up you may see it and uh, now we're going to go across the front of our television and um, you'll see in a moment this will come up this is our oh switch sources but you'll see in a moment on our HDMI we are booting Android and um, it just takes about a you know a little less than a minute here to uh, to load our operating system once our operating system is loaded, um, we're going to be able to navigate around. There you go, this is our operating system. It is configured right now to run at 1080p. It can run at either 720p or 1080p. Uh, and we're going to use this keyboard here, which we had attached with the dongle for before, um, to navigate around. And as long as you're comfortable using keyboard and mouse to navigate around Android, that you've got the fully functional operating system over here. You've got, um, you know, it does not come with Google Play, as we've said, but um, our version here had uh, Google Play hacked onto it, uh, and we've installed a few apps, even some games, and most most things run pretty well. There are some issues still. Uh, Netflix, for example, uh, because of DRM issues, doesn't work. A lot of the games that we've installed, such as this zombie game here, kind of crash uh, when you first load them and therefore don't work. Uh, and there have been a couple of games here, like this Global Outbreak game that um, require you to tap the screen, or there are other games that require an accelerometer that don't quite work in this keyboard mouse uh, world here. But this is very good for productivity. Uh, it's very good for surfing the web. It's great for email. And we know that the FXI team is working on the DRM issues. Uh, and you can use this. It's certainly powerful enough to play videos on it. In fact, if we uh, if we want to go in and go actually go to our video player, you will see how that looks. So, if we uh, go, for example, to our to our downloads folder here, we have uh, we have a trailer on here that's going to play, and uh, we'll just start it over. So you'll see. Uh, it looks pretty darn good and it's pretty smooth. Once we hit the play button on it, you'll see that we've got we've got something this video for Cloud Atlas over here, and uh, it looks pretty good. We see we see it's really smooth. No no real issues here. This is a 1080p uh, MP4 video we've got and. There's no, there's no issues whatsoever. Seems to look, uh, seems really good to us. So there's lots of power in that 1.2 gigahertz processor and the operating system just hasn't even been optimized for it yet. But it works really well on, the t on a large screen television or on your monitor. In fact, you could foresee uh, an office space or a workspace where you just had a monitor with HDMI you know, a hub which had maybe a keyboard and mouse plugged into it, and you'd be good to go with either this or a more desktop, productivity-friendly version of, of Linux like Ubuntu. Mm -hmm.